Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about Synology Drive. So with Synology's DSM 6.2 software we've got a host, of, a host of brand new apps currently available but one of them that really stands out in a unique quirky kind of a way is the Synology Drive application for standalone NAS, desktop um, interface client that you can download the software or mobile phone app for iOS and Android. Now Synology Drive gives you something that quite frankly the likes of Google Drive and Dropbox have been giving you for ages but with a twist. The long story short is Synology Drive gives you the ability to have a one portal access point so a web browser page, a desktop client or a mobile app that can let you access all of your files but can also open all of the files itself. Now, again, Google and uh, Dropbox have been able to do this for a while. They give you the ability to look at PDFs, to look at uh, .x files, and in the case of Google, edit them, CSV files, movie files, uh, photos, that sort of thing. But no NAS brand till now has had an app that can do that. They have a multitude of different applications available, once again, for iOS, Android, and Windows, and Mac to open up all the in uh, individual files, respectively. So video station for videos, photo station for photos, on and on and on. But Synology Drive gives you the ability to have a one portal access point, much similar to that of Google and Dropbox, to open up all your files via one access point, but at the same time, make sure all your files are on the NAS, not the cloud. So you've got all the versatility, stability, cost effectiveness and safety of a NAS, but with the user interface utility and ease of use of the likes of Google Drive and Dropbox. So that's really been their appeal for a long time. Everyone knows that cloud costs more over time, but it's the fact that they seem to be a lot more versatile and easy to send and receive and download files from. Well, with Synology Drive, that is now possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way over to the screens and I'm gonna give you some idea about how Google, I'm sorry, Synology Drive works and how it compares with the likes of Google and Dropbox. So let's go to the screen. Hello and welcome back to the next part in our Synology app overview. Today I want to talk about Synology Drive. Now the last time I spoke about it, this, uh, this software was in beta. Now, not a vast amount has changed, I'll be honest, since they've released it from beta. There's been lots of ways they've integrated it with the other applications, but the original Synology Drive software is still fantastic. And what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how the software opens individual folders and files, but moreover, how it compares with the likes of Google Drive that's going to be quite interesting because remember um, we're using the DS1618 Plus which is a relatively mid-spec NAS it's quite powerful it's got a quad-core Intel CPU and four gig of memory and that remember a lot of you out there are the one uh, there's a number of you out there are just thinking do I want to bother getting a NAS I've got my Google Drive I've got my Dropbox I've got my online storage my Amazon S3 whatever why should I buy a NAS and ultimately the biggest argument I will always tell you is that in three years after cloud storage, if you want a good amount of space, you have to pay for it. So even if you pay a tenner a month, that's 120 pounds a year, and over three years, you just spent 360 pounds, but your data is still on the cloud and you still need to get it back. So eventually, you're gonna need to buy online storage anyway to download it onto, or just continue to pay a cloud provider. Now, the fact that a company like Synology is making more and more more versatile, more widely accepted applications for home and small business users so they can have the advantages that these big cloud providers are offering as their incentive, but giving it to you in your own private NAS cannot be overstated. And Drive is another big example of that because one of the biggest ways in which the likes of Google um, have a, a strong foothold on their cloud storage isn't just the fact that it's the price but nearly all of them have a central means of accessing your data so in the case of here this is uh, that NAS compare uh, throwaway Google account we created for the other video a while ago and what this does is I've just filled it with lots of random files and folders and via this one portal interface, so googledrive.com slash mydrive, I'm able to open MP3s, I can open PDFs, I can open doc files, I can open music and more. So in the case of a video, if I double click a video, it utilizes a streaming um, uh, plugin, an embedded plugin that's effectively like YouTube. They're using the YouTube logic to promote this flash video, but obviously the quality dips ever so slightly. And this is recordings I did for the Lacey Bolt 3 a little while ago. We come out of that and maybe we want to open a music file. And again, I'm not sure if you'll hear it on the camera there, but um, we can play this, play anyway. 
and this will be some music that's going to play in the background for us. On top of that, we can do more, we can share these files, we can do all of this kind of stuff. We can do all kinds of stuff with these files, and again, we can open a PDF, and that's the media kit for NAS Compares. And again, on top of that, we've got everything else, and we can search as well, of course. We can search for a Windows file. And again, it's stuff that we're quite used to. So again, problem opening that document, but I don't know why. Or you can download the file or try to use their own Google Docs application, and that will open it. Apparently, it couldn't convert the file. Um, we'll go for a different one. And here we go, these are the specifications for the 218 from a while ago, and it's opened this file as a PDF, even though it wasn't a PDF, it was a docx, and you can open it with their own document application or do it locally. So this video isn't meant to be an advert for Google Docs, but all I'm showing you is why, um, some, uh, why uh, the likes of Google and Dropbox and more have gained popularity with regard to their one portal access point. So Synology decided, do you know what? we should do something like that, and they did, and they designed a one portal access point for all the files, but the key point here is it's on your NAS, not on a third party cloud you don't own, and this is the Synology Drive application. It's available for iOS and Android, as well as as a desktop interface. You install it via the package center, so you would go to the package center there, find it in all the apps, I may have disconnected the internet for this video to prove a point, uh, and once you've got it installed, you head down to the drive application there, you click it, and it opens up your folder structure. Now, so long as you already had a file manager, but it was a very basic file manager. It's what you'd expect. It's literally what it says in the tin. But if you wanted to open up individual folders and files and videos and stuff like that, you needed to utilize this, go for, you can open f light music videos and stuff like that, nothing too intensive, but for the majority of all of these files and folders, uh, will be opened via their respective applications such as video station, uh, media station, photo station, music station and more. Now the difference between this file manager and Drive once again cannot be overstated because like the Google layout, let's go back, this is our Google Drive from earlier, let's remove that search functionality and just go back to the interface there, that's Google and here is our drive application. Now once again, we can change it into the list view if we see fit. And within here, we have got the ability to search. So once again, we'll do a quick search for docx. And there we go, straight away it's found it. Here is uh, what I was using for the, I believe the NAS Compare article for the Thunderbolt 3 NAS, the Promise Atlas S8 Plus. We double click that, opens it up in a fresh tab just like Google did. But this opens directly into Synology's own editing software, their own Office application. You can open it in the application, you can download it, you can add text, remove text, do whatever the hell you need. And again, it, I can't, it's Synology's own desktop applications, they've got their own Office, they've got their own equivalent of what the Google stuff is trying to um, make you get a cloud platform for, but giving it to you with the ability to utilize your own um, files on your NAS and edit them live on the NAS in the same way that Google and Dropbox and all that are trying to sell it to you. But with them, you need to have one minute. This is it. And again, it's got all the features you're going to need. It's got uh, the word processing, um, it's got Excel, it's got a PDF view, it's got that sort of thing. If we move back to the Drive application, we can look at more files. Why don't we look at some video files, for example? Uh, we should, we've got the recordings, I believe, of when we did the Plex video. So let's go to the Plex Synology Guide. In here, we've got an audio file and we've got a video file. Let's double click that video file. And boom, we're opening it in Video Station. Here we are. And there's our video. And this is in full quality as opposed to the quality that we were seeing in the other one. If we go back to the Drive application, we open a music file and boom. We're opening our music file. Once again, remember, we are going by a single access point. Why don't we open up the PDF? And once again, this is the NAS Compare article when they're opening as a PDF and wallop. And it's actually quite a fl fleshed out way to do it. There's our article there, zoom in, zoom out. We can even edit some PDFs as well if we export them within the application. So again, the Synology Drive um, uh, app, if you will, within uh, this interface, 
the moment. Let's, why not we open up a CSV? Here's some of the uh, sample CSVs as well that I was going to utilize uh, downloading from Windows servers. But what's nice here is our um, CSV viewer and our Excel spreadsheet. What's interesting is Yes, a lot of the features and the functionality in Synology Drive and indeed moments that we discussed before are readily available for third party cloud platforms. But it's that idea that now all your files are on the NAS. And once you roll in features and functionality like the Synology chat and calendar that we talked about in the other videos, as well as Cloud Sync to synchronize with third party clouds as well, you've got a centralized platform for all of your files, whether you're a home or business user and a multitude of ways to access it. You can run an entire business for one of these bad boys and never have to buy any more software because all the software is included. The ability to edit and play with files, the ability to view uh, multimedia, the ability for all your users to chat, the ability to have all your email accounts and web hosted, all can be done on this one device. And that's why applications like My Drive, um, sorry, uh, applications like Synology Drive, Synology Moments, Chat, Active Backup, Calendar, and more are such a big deal. So I'm going to wrap this video up and move on to the next applications. I believe we've got a few more left to go through. And otherwise, an overview, of course, of Synology's DSM 6.2 platform. By the way, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time. Hello, thanks for watching my video. If you want to be kept abreast of all things to do with data storage, then don't forget to start carry on watching those videos down there on the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe. This video exists to help people like you, and I want to help you. So if you subscribe, then you'll help me help you. And that's, come on, that's what we both want. And if you don't mind, I've got really important things to do.